Hello everyone, happy Sunday. Thank you so much for being here today. Um, this is definitely not the way I thought that I would be presenting a senior recital and wrapping up 10 years of playing the violin when Miss Megan and I started planning this back in September. However, we live in a world that's so full of technology and ways to share and connect even without being in the same physical space. So it's been kind of a fun challenge to put it all together. One of my absolute favorite things about playing the violin has always been playing with other people. For as long as I can remember, Miss Megan and I have started every single violin lesson by playing a duet. Nothing we were particularly working on, just a fun, random piece to get us playing together and sharing in that joy of music. Um, so when I was originally thinking about all the pieces I wanted to include in my recital, I knew that I wanted to play ones that would have lots of people involved. Uh, this unfortunately made going online a little bit harder um, to put all the pieces together. However, I'm very lucky to ha uh, have some really awesome musicians who were willing to take on this weird challenge. So when I knew this recital was going to be virtual, I wanted to think of some creative ways to still make it an enjoyable experience to watch. Uh, I was really inspired by one of my close friends, Faith Evans Haywood because when COVID started, she began to listen to all of this music and create visual art based on it. I thought that was such a cool and creative idea, so I have sent her recordings as I was making them, and she has created some beautiful artwork to accompany some of the pieces. You will see them before the piece um, in the actual presentation as well as in your program. Uh, now that I've talked for a very long time, I think it is time to get started with some music. So. Without any further ado, please enjoy Winterscape. Thank you. 
This next piece is one of my absolute favorites to play because it has so many different feelings involved. It's a very bold and showy piece and yet there are moments that are quiet or refined or mysterious. It's really fun to get to play all of those roles and whenever I play it I can't help but move a lot. So please enjoy Sonata in E minor. contrast to the sonata, this next piece is slow and beautiful. As the name suggests, it is all about expression, and it's been really fun to play with different bowing techniques to get different tone qualities and colors to the sound. It's become one of my favorites, so please enjoy Largo Espressivo.
when I think about all of the pieces I've played on the violin over the years, this one sticks out to me the most. It's a very short piece, and yet it captures so much of the joy of playing. It has beautiful moments, and it's full of life and excitement. It's really fun to play. So please enjoy Tambourine. because it's beautiful, but because I found a personal connection to it. One of my favorite ballets, George Balanchine's Jules, uses this piece in the Emerald section. Jules is a completely plotless ballet, so there's no story to be followed, and yet when you're watching, you totally feel like there is, and a lot of that comes from the drama of the music. There's so much character and expression in the music, you can't help but make up a story in your head. So I was really excited to get to play this piece, and I hope you enjoy Sicilian.
this piece I feel like is sort of a rite of passage as a Suzuki violin student. The two parts to the Bach double are taught in separate Suzuki books, one in book four and one in book five, so it takes a long time to get through the whole piece, and it is a challenging process. The pieces individually are not easy, and putting them together can be intimidating because there's so much going on. It's been really fun to revisit this piece this year with Miss Megan. I feel like every time we play it, we find something new. We find a new way to uh, have that conversation between our instruments, to play off of each other's energy, and to express differently. So it has been such a joy to play it with her. And it makes me sad that we cannot be playing it in the same space. However, I think we were still able to feed off of each other's energy uh, from afar. So please enjoy Box double violin concerto in D minor.
For my final piece, I wanted to pick a fiddle tune that would involve lots of people. Taking lessons with Miss Megan for so long has meant I have played a lot of fiddle tunes. Uh, they are often what we picked as our beginning of lesson duets because they're just so fun to play together. It's a totally different way of expressing and using your bow than the classical. It's always such a joy. And no Miss Megan concert would be complete without one. So please enjoy Ricketts Hornpipe. I just want to thank you all again for being here today. I know this is a weird way to have a recital, although it is feeling more normal as lots and lots of things are going online, uh, but I'm grateful that we could still share music together today. Um, thank you so much again to all my wonderful musicians for being willing to take on this crazy challenge uh, and for Faith for providing us some beautiful art and a huge thank you to Miss Megan Tiller for being the best violin teacher I could ask for. Uh, you've made every lesson so fun and I've learned so much from you. I am so grateful to have gotten to make music with you for so long and I really hope that we can play together again soon. So thank you for being here and please enjoy the rest of your day.